Lee, thanks for talking to us. We go again tomorrow night against Grimsby. Your thoughts heading into that one? Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. I think obviously they'll be uh, be wounded from the uh, result against Tramir. And uh, you know, like we are, we're you know licking our wounds. But what it does do for them is the same for us. It gives them an opportunity to try and put that behind them straight away and uh, and look forwards. And uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a tough game. I think uh, in Holloway, good manager, experienced manager, we'll have them bang at it on uh, on Tuesday night. So we need to make sure we come out all guns blazing. Yeah, you say all guns blazing. Is that the sort of message you give to the lads after that game on Saturday? Yeah, you know that wasn't us on on Saturday. To be honest, we, we went at the races and. Uh, Carlisle done to us what we've been doing to a lot of teams, you know, on the front foot they worked hard, they won a lot of second balls, you know, they were a threat in the final third and they nullified us to be fair, but, um, you know, we've got to get back on the all straight away and it's an old saying, but, you know, we need to do that um, and just look at it as a little blip, we've been on a good run apart from, apart from that result, so, uh, you know, we need to get back to that and what an opportunity to do that, a, a game at home again. And obviously a massive shame for Archie coming off after 45 minutes because he looked really promising. Yeah, no, I thought Archie's just starting to get his sort of game legs, if you like. You know, it takes a few games to sort of get your fitness and find your bearings a little bit, especially when you're a young lad coming into a first-team vault. Uh, but, um, yeah, I, f I felt for him a little bit. He tried to get through it, but half-time he was stiffened right up. And, and then, obviously, we bring on David, who gets sent off. And, you know, and now we are um, got three right-backs out of the game. But... You know, we're, we're adapt, we look at the formations and how we can sort of uh, be effective within it and uh, and put a team out and a formation out that's going to be um, hopefully good enough to win the game. And obviously Max Waters named PFA Player of the Month, a good achievement for him. Yeah, fantastic achievement for Max, you know, who would have thought that, you know, six weeks ago he was going to come in and score the amount of goals he has um, and get Player of the Month, but, you know, it's only... It's a great achievement, don't get me wrong, but you know, Max knows he's got a, a lot to do and he's got to keep the top of his game. He's got elements of his game that he needs to improve on, like everyone. Um, but he's a great lad, works hard, he's got a good attitude towards his um, work and he's hungry to score goals and I think that shows when he plays and uh, fantastic for him. And hopefully that sets him up now for the rest of the season and he goes on as another strong month. Yeah, and obviously plenty of competition for him as obviously we see Tom Nichols and Ashley Allison obviously in there as well. Mm, yeah, exactly. You know, we've got a lot of goals between them. Um, you know, first time probably on Saturday that we haven't really bothered to um, a defence much at all. Um, you know, we've given teams a lot of problems in the past and, uh, you know, we, we need to um, be a bit better of our passing and our awareness around the final third. But um, no grumbles really as, as far as a, an attacking sense. We've been good this season so far. You know, obviously, Josh Doherty, hundreds of appearance, a hundred appearances are red. Yeah. Good achievement for him as well. Yeah, he's he's a silent assassin, Doc, as he's known. Obviously, he just he just gets on with his job. He's uh, he's got a great attitude. He's a, he's a nice lad. He, he's got a real w uh, will to win, and um, you know it's nice for him to have got his hundredth appearance. Uh, you know he's well thought of here at the club, and uh, he, he's one of the players you know that you just know he's just going to get on with it and. Uh, a good lad to have about. Yeah, obviously, we obviously tackle tomorrow first, and then we find out on Thursday who we're facing in the FA Cup—a potential long journey to Barrow or just over, just over the road to Wimbledon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, obviously we we look at this one, try and get this result, and uh, then we will move on with with eyes on Thursday night's game. Uh, with, with those two, I think they play uh, Wim Wimbledon play at Gillingham away on Tuesday, and then up to Barrow on Thursday. Um, Obviously, we don't mind who we play. We just want to try and get get the game and uh, try and get through to the to the next round. But whichever we get, it's going to be a tough game. Barrow away is not an easy game, and, and Wimbledon, obviously, being a league above, will be a hard one. But um, yeah, we look forward to that. But um, first and foremost, we can't look past tomorrow's game, and that's something we're excited about. Thanks, Lee. Cheers, mate.